suffocating clouds of poisonous ash, violent shaking, and damaging wall of water. These are some of the devastating effects of volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and tsunamis. The Philippines, in particular, is vulnerable to these natural hazards. This nation lies in the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region that has produced some of the most destructive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in history. This country hosts 23 active volcanoes and has experienced more than 90 destructive earthquakes in the last 400 years. The ever-present threat from these forces of nature has prompted the creation of a national agency that will study, investigate, and monitor geotectonic and volcanic activities that may pose risk to public safety. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOX, is a service institute of the Department of Science and Technology that is principally mandated to mitigate disasters that may arise from volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, and other related geotectonic phenomena. Its vision is to become a leading global science and technology institution in helping develop communities safe from and resilient to volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, and other related hazards. Its mission, on the other hand, is to provide timely and quality information and services for warning, disaster preparedness, and mitigation. It aims to achieve this by developing and applying technologies designed to monitor and accurately predict and determine areas prone to volcano and earthquake hazards, and capacity enhancement for comprehensive disaster risk reduction. The history of earthquake and volcano monitoring in the Philippines goes back to 1880, when seismological observation in the Philippines started under Manila Observatory. Part of this scientific institution's tasks is to observe and study seismological activities in the country. By 1901, the Philippine Weather Bureau was formed, and part of its main function was to monitor earthquakes. After several years, the Bureau was abolished and was eventually changed to PAGASA, or the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services. While the country already had an agency dedicated for the monitoring of earthquakes, it still lacked a unit designated to study volcanic eruptions. The need for a volcanic monitoring agency only became apparent with the violent eruption of Hibok Hibok Volcano in 1951, which killed hundreds of people. This disaster resulted in the formation of CONVOL, or the Commission of Volcanology, the following year. Its main task was to safeguard life and property against volcanic eruptions and its dangers. In 1982, Comval was reorganized and renamed as Philippine Institute of Volcanology, FIVOC. After two years, seismology, which was then under the Pagasa, was added to the functions of FIVOC, making it FIVOX, or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. The efficiency of FIVOX can be attributed to its internal strategy of becoming a highly responsive and competent organization. It does this by hiring highly competent staff and assisting and developing them to be experts. The staff is similarly motivated and skilled in their field of expertise, led by an equally skilled and dynamic leader. Within the institution are effective and efficient systems procedures, and structures that enable FIVOX to achieve its objectives. In line with this mandate, FIVOX conducts earthquake, tsunami, and volcano monitoring and warning, hazards and risk assessment, potential for earthquake, volcanic eruption, and tsunami to occur, as well as disaster preparedness and risk reduction activities through various internally funded projects, as well as through collaboration with local and international institutions. The expertise and dedication of the staff to their work allows them to deliver their commitment of making sure that the communities achieve resilience to these destructive hazards. VBOX is made up of five divisions headed by the Office of the Director, 
As head of the organization, the Office of the Director ensures that the program and projects are aligned with the strategic objectives of the Institute. This includes the Volcano Monitoring and Eruption Prediction Division, the Seismological Observation and Earthquake Prediction Division, the Geology and Geophysics Research and Development Division, and the Geologic Disaster Awareness and Preparedness Division. These are the working arms of FEBOX that carry out its volcano, earthquake, and tsunami disaster risk reduction programs. The Finance and Administrative Division supports and facilitates the operation of the office. The Volcano Monitoring and Eruption Prediction Division is responsible for the National Volcano Monitoring and Warning Program. It operates real-time with integrated multi-parameter volcano monitoring systems in the country's eight most active volcanoes. These include the Mayon, Taal, Bulusan, Pinatubo, Canlaon, Hibok-Hibok, Matutum, and Parker. Uh, this is the division that is responsible for implementing the National Volcano Monitoring and Warning Program of the Institute, which is uh, the core strategy for monitoring, integrated monitoring of the country's most active volcanoes. The Seismological Observations and Earthquake Prediction Division is charged with the National Earthquake Monitoring and Information and the National Tsunami Monitoring and Early Warning Programs. During an earthquake, the information from seismic stations are transmitted, received, and analyzed at the Data Receiving Center, which operates 24-7. This ensures that any data from FEBOX stations are immediately assessed and earthquake information is relayed to the concerned government agencies as well as to the public. The Seismological Observation and Earthquake Prediction Division is in charge of providing timely and accurate information about earthquakes and tsunami events that may occur and impact here in the Philippines. The Seismological Observation and Earthquake Prediction Division is also responsible for monitoring tsunami occurrences not only in the Philippines, but in other countries as well. With sea level monitoring stations, VBOX is able to identify and issue advisories and warnings for possible tsunamis. The Geology and Geophysics Research and Development Division, as the name suggests, is the division tasked with earthquake hazards and risk assessment, earthquake generation potential of active faults and trenches, volcanic hazards and risk assessments, and eruption and magmatic history of volcano system programs. Our research studies are facilitated by the use of institute-accepted standard methodologies, databases, and geographic information systems, or GIS tools. The Geologic Disaster Awareness and Preparedness Division is in charge of volcano, earthquake, and tsunami disaster preparedness and risk reduction programs, which are done through research, materials development, and communication services. The Geologic Disaster Awareness and Preparedness Division is the division responsible for coming up with uh, different programs related to volcano, earthquake, and tsunami preparedness and risk reduction. Meanwhile, the Finance and Administrative Division is responsible for strategic human resource management and development leadership enhancement and development, and strategic performance assessment and development excellence programs. In the event of a sudden volcanic unrest and or large earthquake, FEVOX sends a quick response team, which is a scientific team composed of geologists, seismologists, volcanologists, engineers, and social scientists, who can be dispatched to a particular area which requires FEVOX attention. Each member of the team is to monitor and study the geologic event to allay the fear of the populace and educate them on how to respond properly to hazards posed by an impending volcanic eruption or large earthquake. While the Philippines still remains vulnerable to earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or tsunamis, the Filipinos can nonetheless be sure that FEVOX will be there to monitor, predict, and help the public during these natural calamities.